Hello, what's up? It's Matt, and today I want to show you one example of how the media can manipulate statistics to fit a specific narrative or agenda. So this is Breitbart.com, which if you don't know is kind of like a written version of Fox News, except potentially even more conservative. I don't know why I was on this site, but I saw this title, Pew. Overwhelming majority don't want more immigration. Now, I don't know enough numbers or facts on immigration to outright refute this, but it didn't sit right with me. It didn't seem to be consistent with what I had heard about immigration. So if we look at the article, we see right here that an overwhelming majority of Americans, 70%, do not want an increase in the country's immigration levels. So now we have some numbers, 70%, but this still didn't, I don't know, it didn't feel right. I wanted to check the actual source material and see if this was full of crap or not. It opens in a new tab and it links us to a page that actually doesn't have that data on it. Is that intentional? Perhaps, I don't know. If we scroll down though, on the first page, we see the data that Breitbart is talking about right here. Views of legal immigration in the US. Legal immigration into US should be increased 24%, kept at present levels 39%, decreased 31%, don't know 6%. They got the 70 by adding up 31 and 39, and this is technically correct. If you look at it that way, 70% of people do not want immigration to increase. But this keep at present levels, this ambiguous 39% can go both ways. You could add it to the increased column and also say that 63% of people don't want immigration levels to decrease. So if Breitbart is saying that 70% of Americans do not want immigration levels to increase, it's also correct to say 63% don't want it to decrease. And that doesn't really make sense when you think about what people want. You could argue that 70% is still more than 63, so it should have more value, but it seems pretty clear that Breitbart framed this information this way to attract and appeal to a specific ideology of readers, of consumers. And I'm not trying to imply that only conservative media outlets do this, because really all do, but this is one example of how the media can present a statistic that, while true, might be misleading. Brother, I'll see you on weekday.